okay? Because the way this works is they're going to route out the thickness of this, basically. It's going to go in. You're using the fabric, okay? And you run the fabric over the top of it, mm -hmm. right? And you're good to go, okay? I'm going to show you a little bit different method, but we'll, we'll jump back and forth. Is that cool? So there's a couple different installs, and there's benefits, pros and cons to each one. If you're doing a 3 by 5 um, or anything that's 3 foot by 8 foot even, the panels is a really good option on the panel. So just like this, what we'll do is router out the board. You'll put the, you'll put the pan down, and we'll do the pan like that where it just has a hole in it. You put the pan down, you thin set the pan down, you thin set the board over the top. Let's say you're doing pebbles where they're really uneven. This is the install. This is floor rated. What about your the slope though? What? Oh, it follows the slope. You. I'll show you. Hey, you come on. Yeah. It follows the slope perfect. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. So, really. In this way, you're gonna have you're gonna have this. So you're gonna end up thin setting this down, mm -hmm. right? You're gonna key everything. And you're using uh, modified. Yeah. Modified, modified with any, all us. Okay. Every with every product that Progress makes, it's modified, top and bottom. It doesn't matter. Right. So you're gonna come in, you're gonna clean your floor, you're gonna give it a drink, you're gonna like wipe it down, you know, yeah. all the standards, right? And I believe in that. You're gonna key the mortar in, directional oh, yeah. travel. Oh, yeah. What you're gonna end up doing, push it back and forth, get that thing boom, right? That's down. Make sure it's level around the perimeter. Yeah. So then you're gonna check it with your level, but you're gonna level up first. You're gonna make sure that it is, okay? Mm -hmm. With this install, this board is rigid and it would stay up. This has been flexed down for a while, but what we end up doing is with this install, with the board, oh, we're gonna thin set this down, gotcha. right? We're gonna set this in, okay? Yeah. And you can do this with the half inch, they can route that out. I use quarter inch because it's just a little bit thicker right. than this and you can put a bed of thin set in there when you push it and you mm -hmm. get it flush. But with this, what you end up doing is so you got it thin set it down. You got your drain, all the thin set around your drain. You're setting your drain. You're screwing it down. So what holds I the do drain? Pre what I do holds prefer the down, a little more thin set. Right? Though, you know. What yeah, holds absolutely. The drain down, Simon, so you got a globs of thin set that's coming out through the holes yeah. in the drain. Is the fact that you can screw this down and it compresses. And if you're over concrete, you're sticking a bucket of water yeah. or something over the top. So it's automatically compressing the actual panel itself. And the panel follows the, the slope panel of the paint. I've got one guy that likes to do it with quarter inch. And he has us cut a hole out, and he just weights it down in the center. Yep. And then he... Come back a couple of hours? I mean, and then what we what I recommend, and I don't know if... I think Bill's on a page in progress is on a page with this, is letting that dry. <laughs> then coming back and using the urethane, and I trawl that little... We make a donut for you. Basic uh, mm -hmm. a little donut. Is there one I'd upstairs? Like, yeah, there is. I'll grab one. Um, or you want to grab the donut? The foam down. Mm -hmm. And then you, you're you either going to do the fabric because they've routed it out, and right. you're still going to key it in and put fabric over it, which right. is your what you're doing, or you end up buying the board. Doesn't matter then what you're doing. With the foam, you're two inches minimum, two by two. Yeah. Right? On this, it doesn't matter because it. This board doesn't. Well, I'm, I'm almost. If I could get this routed out and it's ready to go, I'd almost rather just spend the 35 bucks and not have to do that. Yeah. I mean, that's a win win, yep. if you ask me. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But this is. But you're showing the two different methods as yep. per. Yeah, now I'm just bouncing back and forth for you because okay. you're going to do that. If you want to do this, you're going to buy another, uh, another panel. They'll do this for you. We do it when you order the pan and, you and we up, make you a donut. And then what you end up doing is you just use my my sealant. Right. It comes in ten ounce tubes for regular coffee and twenty ounce for the sausage. Okay. okay. And so, pull that out. so you can see that this is this is pitching, you know, to the drain, right? So. It's pretty cool. Right? I didn't even realize that. That, that changes everything as far as I'm concerned for time-wise because you don't even need to you're not wasting your time no so it's, in here where the connection because this is an R drain right this is a um, this, is, this is Profilitex drain okay. so we 
we, because of Dave, we, we, wrote, we wrote a warranty extension okay. at the connection of the Profilitech drain. Okay? Right, which is because what? Because Profilitech doesn't want to write anything to our fabric. They make a fabric. Okay. And we have, we have a drain that you don't want to try and afford it. So are you covering, so basically you're warranting their drain, correct? Yeah, we're warranting the connection to the, connection. the drain. Okay. So what you're going right. to end up doing is we have, you're going to use our sealant and you're going to bond this. Where it bonds to this felt, yep. you're going to use our sealant there. Everywhere yep. else, if you want to just do thin set, right? There's fine mm -hmm. on the outside of that. You what about the sealant? What I just, about I use um, the sealant all over. What about if I wanted to use like say an Ardex eight and nine or something no. for you're, you're voiding the warranty? Yeah. So it has to be so it has to be your sealant. sealant or modified thin set. You well, you can, use modified, you can use modified to set or and place everything down. The physical connection to the drain has this to be piece right here has right. to be my sealant. But what about the perimeter of that? It can be a modified. You can, you can be a modified thin set, any ANSI 118.11, so X5. So like RDX, yeah. X, right, okay, yeah. all right. So X5 would be fine, but when you do their waterproofing, their 8 plus 9, we have zero to do with RDX. Okay. We're doing this I'm, connection I'm trying to because understand we, we know Dave. As per, yeah. So this is, we're the only company on the planet that's that will write a warranty over someone else's product. But, that's good. Okay. We have letters from RDX saying that their thin set's compatible with our products because it's modified. We've got it from Custom, Mape, Latigreet, everybody, right? Because we don't make thin set, okay? Mm -hmm. So this physical connection, this piece on the fleece, has to be my sealant. Okay. It's easy to just put my whole thing here, knock it down with a V-notch trowel, yep. squeeze it out with, a, with you know, like and it's a great yeah. product. I mean, that, that stuff will bond. It'll bond to everything. Glass to and how much is it? For, how much is it for? It's twenty bucks a tube. Okay. Um, and then you typically need. You get about twenty feet. I'm gonna I'm gonna put the walls up, and I'm gonna okay. show you how that kind of goes together. All right, okay. okay. Cool. If you're doing this connection. Okay. If you were doing it, the fabric way. Yeah. Put the walls down on the foam. Put in the banding, the corners, do all of that, and then I cut. And I do it this. I think you do it the same way. Matt does it this way. Is you just cut this the the square. You've already got all your corners and banding in, and then you just put the fabric over the top of it. It's just a square, so you're not trying to like right. fold so, anything. Okay. It's and you're doing it the opposite of what you would normally do with anything with tile, where you're coming down on top of. You're coming down. You're you're doing it backwards to what you would normal. Uh, what I was taught to do. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if you absolutely. do that install. That way, it, right. there's a lot of benefits. You don't end up with the buildup in the corners. You yeah. don't end up yep. with the hump around the side yeah. because you're floating it out as you're sticking the membrane. So, so it's, but you it's a huge cut. benefit. If you have, say, See, your the, shower's I'll 3 by that. 5 And we've right? got some 8 foot. We've got that material. What you end up doing is you can cut that a half inch 